is one of those things that we always know we want to do with our volunteers. Sometimes we get a chance to go to a convention like a National Youth Workers Convention or to a YS Palooza. But other times we're thinking, man, I'd love to train my volunteers myself. I'd love to have an opportunity to do it. Because, um, you know, sometimes those other items are budget items. So what about those weekly times where we want to train our volunteers ourselves and we want to do that? Well, let's give you five tips on training your own volunteers. Um, the first one I want to give you is analyzing articles. This is simple. takes no budget whatsoever. You just get together with your team. And when you're with your team, you hand out an article. And it could just be like an article you saw in like a recent magazine. It could be like a secular magazine or it could be like a youth worker magazine. It doesn't matter. But you hand out something and you hand them the article and you say, read this right now. Now, some people say, oh, I want to be, you know, all efficient and give my volunteers the article the week before and tell them to read it. We know what happens. They don't read it, right? So I think it's almost better to just hand them the magazine or hand them an article I've printed out and give it to them right then and say, go ahead and read this real quick. And I give them a couple minutes to read it. Then you just ask some simple questions like, um, what'd you think? Did you like this? Um, how does this affect our ministry? What's one thing you could take out of this article that we can use this week in ministry? One of the simplest, easiest ways to, uh, you know, train our volunteers. Just analyze some article by some other expert. Um, second thing is basic skill sharpening. There are certain youth ministry skills that we notice. Maybe, for example, you notice when you divide to small groups that some of our small group leaders aren't exactly being good listeners. And so we think to ourselves, hey, I want them to be better listeners. So jot down some ideas of what you think would help make them be better listeners. Maybe you come up with five points of making our kids feel heard. And you come up with what those are. Uh, some hints you could use, like use a conch, and only the person with the conch speaks. Come up with some on your own. Or another great way to teach uh, skills is to teach the opposite, like how to royally mess up your small groups. You know, and you could say, talk all the time, you know, instead of them. Only choose the popular kids. Now, if you're sitting there saying, hey, you know what? I can't come up with these kind of skills on my own. I, I, I wouldn't know even what to teach. Well, that's again where we could jump on like uh, sites like theyouthspecialties.com and see what one of their articles is. Or for instance, for blogs like dougfields.com. He just had a blog that was called 10 Ways to Remember Names. You can use something like that. On my blog, I constantly will have different principles you could share. So you can take principles like from Doug's or myself and call them your own. That's why we put these blogs out there. And then you could teach those skills that are youth ministry skills. Another good idea would be the simple debrief. This would be after a typical youth group uh, meeting or an event for you to sit there and, and afterwards just grab them together for 10 minutes and say, hey, what worked tonight? What didn't work tonight? What are some ways we can improve? And simply debrief what we drew out of that event and what we could do better to work with kids. It's the simple debrief. Another uh, good tip for training your own volunteers, it's a, a simple one, is the old big picture planning. The big picture planning is simple. This is where you take your purpose, whatever your purpose is. Um, I know some youth ministries, their purpose might be uh, twofold. It might be we want to you know, find kids that don't know Jesus and introduce them to Jesus. And then we want to find kids that already know Jesus and help them get to know him better. And if that's your purpose, then for your big picture planning, you plan out through the year, hey, what venues are we going to do where we help kids that know Jesus get to know him better and help kids that don't know Jesus to introduce him to him? What are ways we could do that? Brainstorm it right there around the table. I have this meeting where you brainstorm. Well, hey, here's a way we could do it. We aren't really going where kids are, like football games and skateboard parks. Maybe that's where we could introduce kids to Jesus or at least start the contacting process. What about the kids that already know Jesus? Hey, what if we did a Christian concert? What are some venues we could do? So it's kind of planning your calendar. It's the basic big picture planning where you relate it to your purpose. Uh, finally, another tip would be the old leadership retreat. If we want to train our own volunteers, a big part of training is team building. I used to always do a leadership retreat because my cousin had a 900 acre ranch and we would go up to this ranch and we would stay there for the weekend. And it was awesome because we had our own like little bunkhouse and we did our own meals. So it was very inexpensive and we stayed there together as a team. And that was fun because up there you could ride horses, we could go four wheeling. It was a ton of just hangout time. 
time. Well, we also had some time where we got together and one of my guys played guitar. We would do just a little bit of worship. I would usually have one of my leaders tell their story. So it was a lot of testimony time, us listening to each other, a lot of tears, a lot of hugging as we heard our stories, getting to know each other. Then I did a little bit of training. Usually that's the one time a year where I did some evangelism training to where how do we share Christ with a kid if a kid wants to know Jesus. We always did that at the leadership retreat. So there it is, five tips for training your own volunteers. As simple as analyzing articles, skill sharpening, the debrief, um, big picture planning, and the leadership retreat. I hope you can use some of those five tips um, because like I said, they're easy on the budget and they're fun and you can do them yourself. <laughs>